What did that one teacher at your school do to get fired? She lobbed a chunk of wood at her assistant. Not sure why. Hit a kid with a traffic cone. He blasted an air horn into a deaf kid's ear and ruptured his eardrum. He was trying to prove that sound doesn't affect them at all. Middle school pay teacher fired for student degradation and hazing. He'd regularly require all the students to crawl across the gym on all fours, noses to the ground, while chanting the phrase beep beep I'm a jeep. I guess he was also fricking the language arts teacher. Our principal got caught breaking into a construction site and stealing wood to build his daughter a tree house. One of the gym teachers was pee and threw a kid into a trophy case. Threw a desk at a student. Wood shop teacher in high school showed us how to bypass the safety on a nail gun and set up targets at the other side of the room for us to shoot. He thought we'd eventually be safer in the shop if we got it out of our systems. He got fired when two students decided to try and shoot each other from opposite ends of the room. One of the history teachers at my high school got caught abusing her horses and also her children. It made sense because she was a horrible teacher who liked to make us all feel stupid. They ended up catching her when she got pulled over for speeding while pulling a horse trailer meant for two horses. She had five smashed in there, and they were all starving and mangled. Then the police did further investigation on her and found out she didn't treat her kids that well either. Pretty sure she went to jail. The nurse at my middle school got fired after she called my mom saying I was faking sick to get out of school. I didn't take my temperature, just said I looked over emotional so it must be that time of the month or trying to get out of class. I had strep throat with a 102.5 degree fever. School nurses are crap. I went to the nurse every day in elementary school saying I was nauseous and every time they completely disregarded it. It turns out, I was dehydrated practically every day of elementary school. And then when I was actually sick they would send me to class because they were too lazy to either deal with the problem or call my parents. Lit a cigarette and threw it into a cup of gasoline to show that movies are BS. Frick, I'm a chemistry teacher and I talk about this every year. Literally every year. Students ask me to demonstrate this but I tell them no, I'll get fired. I also tell them about a chem professor I had who took a drag of an entire cigarette under a 100% oxygen environment. Can't do that one either. It was after I moved away, but a friend told me that one of his students said something terrible about his late wife, and the teacher got really mad, freaked out and apparently threw a chair or something. It was truly surprising because he was known throughout the school for being super chill, funny and down to earth, and he was even known as OBG, a nickname he gave himself that stood for a old bald guy. Not a student, but I may have gotten a teacher fired. I work as a restaurant manager. A few months ago, a host came up to me to tell me a guest was drunk, grabbed her waist, kissed her on the cheek, and said good night beautiful. The host was 18 and the dude was well into his 40s. Well, he came in again and I told him he had to leave. He wasn't happy, but I told him why and gave him my GM's card. He called. My GM, the teacher, and myself sat down for about 20 minutes. My GM gave him a second chance, which I didn't agree with but it was his restaurant. Fast forward one month and he is back with some co-workers. This time he is rubbing servers backs kissing cheeks, etc. I kick him out for good and let him know he is not welcome back. I don't give my GM's card. Instead I tell him I'll call the cops. About two weeks later I'm opening the restaurant and I'm getting texts, phone calls, etc. The guy is a teacher at a local school and just got busted for pretzel on four girls. I think the way he was acting in front of other teachers at the restaurant when I 86 said him. They put two and two together and it clicked. Either way. He was in butt. My teacher photoshopped students faces onto child P. Went through a midlife crisis. Came to work drunk and sideswiped another faculty member's car before heading to the classroom to teach. I had a teacher like this. He would constantly disappear during class. He only actually taught about a one stroke three of the time. Carried the same Pepsi can all year. Filled with booze. Let students buy their grades. It got a little controversial, because she taught a senior level class. So there was a debate whether the kids should have to redo the work. This was a few months before graduation, or if it should be forgiven because the students weren't at fault for listening to the teacher. 
This is a substitute teacher story. My brother once had a substitute teacher for one of his classes in junior. Hi. And my brother said the guy looked like someone they pulled off the street and stuck in a classroom. He had grease stains all over his shirt and tie. And he called a female student B. He then saw that one of the male student's shoes were untied during class and the sub told him to tie his laces or go to the office and the student went to the office. And the administrators finally got involved after multiple complaints. The teacher was also taking pictures of the students who misbehaved. This was in 1999 so he had a disposable camera. From what I remember they had to call the police and have him escorted off campus. A bunch of C off of his desk before first period. The science teacher and girls swim coach at my middle school was fired for having child pee on his work computer. After he was gone they did an investigation on all the other work computers at the school and fired 3 more teachers for the same thing. Hoping and assuming all of them were charged but didn't hear anything about it. Disclaimer. This was a substitute. He subbed for our math teacher during a big test that the majority of our class did not study for. Three or four people were ready and he knew it just by looking at the class. The teacher had given him instructions to remove one point from a 30 mark test for every time someone asked for a formula that we were supposed to know. He was not supposed to tell us this and still wasn't even once someone asked for one. To just silently deduct a point up to a max of 10, 33%. Everyone protested the test asking for another day so he texted the teacher. The teacher said to just administer the test. We knew the test was going to be on that day so we had no excuses. This and legend chose to not give the test and instead spend the day teaching the people who didn't remember the formulas mnemonics mnemonics for memorizing them. At the end of the day he jokes about that day being the last time he worked and most of the people in class didn't realize that he wasn't kidding. He lost his job after the school board fired him for failing to properly substitute. The math teacher had him reinstated but it still doesn't change the fact that he risked his job just so people won't fail this class. Frickin' legend. BTW he looked like the merc bounty hunter old guy from Breaking Bad my Kermantrot. It's almost like the point of going to school is to learn stuff instead of to take tests. Almost. Fricked a kid. There was one rule in the school, and it was to not frick the kids. I would think that's a rule everywhere. I went to college with a girl who ended up getting married, having kids and becoming a teacher at my old high school. Then she slept with a 17 year old student. An English teacher at my high school was arrested for getting high on something, some say Xanax, and breaking into his neighbor's house to make soup. The neighbor woke up at like 3 a.m. from the noise and called the cops thinking it was a robber. Once they found out it was their neighbor they understood the situation and weren't too worried because apparently that English teacher was always getting wild. He was however found naked sitting on the couch eating the now warm soup. He probably would have gotten fired but everyone liked him, so instead he was put on leave and sent to teach at a school for delinquent kids. She singled all the kids out she thought had a disability, including myself. And she gave them extra homework. In an ironic twist, when we had a school meeting and the headmaster announced the special Olympics swimming tourney results. And when everyone except those mentioned the results, gave pity. Filled I'm gonna look like a jackass if I don't applaud so I guess I have to collapse. She stood up and gave loud hollers and whoops and continued to even after the headmaster asked her to settle down. Freaking woman was a nutcase. She was working nights at a topless bar. Provided alcohol to two of his students and polished it said students. In the end, it was two teachers. It started with the science teacher at the high school. He was 27-28 I think, and married to one of the English teachers, who was probably a year younger. So a few of the girls find the science teacher attractive. He knows they find him attractive, openly flirts with them in class, out of class, just wherever. Rumors start that he's sleeping with one or two of them, later turns out to be true. Well his wife finds out, and instead of doing the adult thing and turning him in and divorcing him, she decides to up the ante. She starts sleeping with some of her male students, two in particular, sometimes individually, sometimes at the same time. One of the male students has a girlfriend who finds out what he's been doing and exposes the whole thing. Administration fires both of them. There were never any criminal charges filed that I can remember. 
About a year later, our resource officer also got caught sleeping with a student. I'm a little late and I don't think he was actually fired for this, but one teacher climbed the tree the cool kids used to smoke under at break time. When the kids came out for lunch and all huddled under the tree, he jumped out like Spider-Man and scared them all. Our principal got caught selling math. Got busted in his office high on M naked jerking off to gay P with Jack Shack on his desk. Our religious education teacher left the profession after she flipped out and slammed a sleeping kid's head on his desk. She was really intense about people putting in effort in her class, despite the fact it wasn't graded. She then became a minister for the Church of Scotland. Not a teacher but a student teacher in my high school for photography class. He bought in his camera for us to use. One of the girls in my class was using it and was going through the photos she took. Starts scrolling and notices a dong pic. When the student teacher noticed, he said whoops, let's just keep that a secret between us. But she was mortified. He gave the same worksheet every day, not exaggerating one bit. He also let kids walk all over him, but he was a coach of a Olympic bobsled team. My Spanish teacher in high school was a fresh out of college sorority girl and she was super hot and fun and outgoing. Every guy flirted with her but she kept it professional and ignored them. Well since she was just out of college she obviously went to the bars, parties and drank. She ended up going to a college party and was just having fun doing beer bongs and dancing and one of the seniors saw her and started recording her partying. It's a small town high school and that video was seen by everyone. The principal found out and he let her finish the school year and she got fired. It's kinda sad cause she made learning fun. Gave a student the link to her p-side lol. Had a teacher in 8th grade for history at a rather ghetto school in the Seattle area who seemed flamboyantly gay and everyone had thought it was the case. Was a great teacher and had some very funny, engaging lessons around history and was one of my favorite teachers. He was about 35. After moving on to high school myself, around 11th grade, it came out that he had physical relations with quite a number of 12 to 14 year old girls and boys. Made the local news, on King 5 Seattle or something like that, which is how I found out. I was quite shocked and needless to say he was not only fired, he is now in jail. Comma. We had a substitute teacher for nearly the whole year because the chemistry teacher was on maternity leave. She taught us next to nothing and eventually got fired when she caught something on fire in the lab that started smoking uncontrollably and her response was to shut the doors, trapping us in, so no one would find out. When the original teacher returned, she apologized, offered everyone free A's for the year and taught us what she could in a month. A teacher at my school claimed that he couldn't feel pain. To prove this, he cut a long slice in his arm and then stapled it back together using a literal stapler. As if that's not bad enough, he then poured hand sanitizer all over the wound. This was in front of a whole class, mind you. Nowadays he is in an institution. Some 6th graders caught our fired teacher peeking at them in the locker room through a mirror while they changed. All he had to do was stand at the door to the locker room. The mirror was in such a spot to allow him to see everything from the door. Needless to say, they removed that mirror shortly after he was caught. Wasn't fired but strongly encouraged to leave is what he told us. He threw in a razor at a student because she wasn't paying attention. He was an ag teacher and her parents were some of the top contributors to our school's FFA program, so it caused a fuss. Doesn't sound like a big deal on his own, but the problem was that everyone else had gripes about him and once this happened it sort of opened the floodgates. Admittedly the dude was an absolute prick and should have been fired for the way he allowed his shop to be run. We had hoses in the shop for blowing sawdust and whatnot onto the floor to sweep. He taught some of the rougher kids how to stick a welding electrode into one of them and shoot them at people. One of those suckers hit me in the arm and drew blood. Still, felt kind of crappy it went down like that. He works at a juvie now so I sometimes wonder how that's going. Fail 95% of their students. The drama teacher got fired as he essentially forced kids who wanted good roles in any plays to sleep with his favorite student. He also had the kids preform some explicit plays, such as one called Foreplay, which is literally about golf bander. All of the people involved, aside from him, were high school students, under 18. 
summer before sophomore year, the junior English teacher's mugshot shows up with an article. He was arrested for going to a student's house. IDK exactly why but the student was an officer in the club head sponsored and Theed often had physical intimacy in his classroom after school. A few weeks later the sophomore app Euro teacher resigned after coming back from the trip to Europe he led. Supposedly because head had physical relations with a student. He threatened to strangle a particularly annoying student while he was with his mom on the phone. His mom heard and freaked out. This was just the kind of thing he would say, so I'm not sure if the mother was justified or not. What I'm more confused about is that he once threw an open exacto knife right in front of the same student, but that didn't get him in trouble. SMH. She found herself pregnant after she had a big fight and break up with her so much younger immature jobless boyfriend. The fighting breaking up drama had happened so many times. Even happened in the college for multiple times. And they got back together and get married because of it. Few months later, during lunch time, she was eating with some students. Her husband suddenly showed up, accusing her having an affair with one of the students and started hitting that student, throwing chairs etc. Police was involved. Then the husband kept showing up while she worked, refused to find a job, and followed her everywhere. She divorced the husband not long after that, but the husband continued. She was not fired but management talked her to resign. So she was pregnant, lost her job, no income, no paid maternity leave because of that husband. She is doing great now, I am happy for her. I didn't have his classes. But a math chemistry physics teacher at our middle school got caught in a nationwide major league match fixing scandal, after which he repeatedly showed up to work drunk. Didn't last long. Principal got caught lying about being a navy seal. My math teacher looked like a seal. Like this video or this chonker will sit right on top of your house. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.